Hey, what's going on, everybody? So, usually I start scrolling through blah forums like once a week, just checking on different things on to here. And I thought this was really interesting. This started off uh, with two different points I want to bring up on to here. So, I'm going to go forward to the very last post here. Somebody got this email today. It says, will you be attending the, you know, the National, basically? Um, and it says, if you have non-expired redemptions and your ticket has been open for a minimum of 120 days, blah, 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 you can pre-register to talk to a customer service representative from this date to this date. The 27th to July 11th. Oh, that's when it's open for pre-registration. I'm sorry, I was like, wait a minute, National is that in the month. I know, I know, a little brain dead here today. But you got the dates up here, 27th through 31st, the national. But you could pre-register if you're going and work your deal out for your non-expired redemption where the ticket has been open for 120 days. What sucks is those guys that have an expired redemption that's been in the system for two, three, seven years. But hopefully, I don't know if anybody knew about this. If you are going national and this, you fall into this category, I don't know if they still have openings or not but you might want to check into this it just came out today so i figured i'd get this out well actually today being monday i think it's a wednesday video all right the other part i want to show into this which was really good this is where they were talking about steve nash logo man it's been out for seven years everybody's saying email emily brooke some people have had luck most have not uh there is a part on to here. I'm scrolling. I don't remember where I saw it at here. This person here said, I wrote a polite but firm email to the NBA here, and it has contact the NBA. I'll put a link down to this forum if you guys want to look at it. But um, that way you can click on if you want to contact the NBA. I would suggest it be a bigger card, not like a $20 to $100 card. <laughs> But if you're out there and you have a bunch of redemptions that equal thousands, I'd probably reach out to him. But he said, a polite but firm email describing the lack of customer service that Panini was providing on his last redemptions. I'm sure he listed all that stuff out, you know, big email and everything. It said he heard from the NBA about a week later and then customer service that Panini reached out not long after. Might be worth a shot if they won't even reply to reasonable questions. So it, it, it might be worth a shot. So some of you guys, I know we talked and you guys are like, have the Lamelo Ball redemption still out there and everything else, starting to get a little worried on to it. If you're not going to the national to where you can exchange it, try to look at this method here. I mean, I do know licensing, they still got it for a little bit and stuff like that with Panini. Maybe the NBA has some flex or they could push it to the right people up there and maybe you guys get taken care of. But found it, figured it'd be something good to put out. Uh, two different ways. Maybe you can get, you know, some cards for your redemption or find out what's going on with your redemption at the same time frame. All right, guys, take care. Have a good one. Catch you all next video.